sunset duels, horseback chases, and standoffs between sheriffs and outlaws have become timeless symbols of the American Wild West. The characters, both heroes and villains, lived out stories that blend legend with the harsh realities of that untamed era. While some met spectacular and legendary fates, others experienced more ordinary endings, mirroring the rugged and unforgiving life of the vast frontier. Belle Starr, better known for her associations with criminals than for committing crimes herself, led a controversial life. Although she was convicted once for horse theft, she had no further run-ins with the law. However, her continued associations with outlaws brought her a life of danger. Belle met a violent end when she was ambushed and shot multiple times near her home. The mystery of who killed her remains unsolved, with some even suspecting her own son, Ed, was involved in the crime. Wild Bill Hickok, another famous name of the Old West, first gained attention when a magazine published the story of him killing three men in a gunfight, which solidified his reputation as a fearsome sharpshooter. Hickok's star faded over time, and on a fateful day in Deadwood, South Dakota, while playing cards in a saloon, Jack McCall shot him in the back of the head. The hand Hickok held at the time, two aces and two eights, became known as the dead man's hand, further cementing his place in Western lore. Doc Holliday, initially a dentist in Texas, saw his life change dramatically due to his love for card games. This passion led him to cross paths with figures like Wyatt Earp, and he became involved in gunfights. His heavy drinking and gambling, however, worsened his tuberculosis. Seeking relief, Holiday moved to a sanatorium in Glenwood Springs, Colorado, where he passed away at the age of 36. Holiday left behind a legacy defined by both his gunfights and his skill at the poker table. Davy Crockett, nicknamed the King of the Wild Frontier, was a pioneer, congressman, and folk hero whose life ended in the famous Battle of the Alamo. Accounts differ on his final moments. Some say he died fighting bravely, while others suggest he was captured and executed after the battle. These conflicting stories have kept the debate over Crockett's last stand alive, adding to the mystery surrounding his death. Calamity Jane, a legendary figure of the Wild West, lived a life full of hardships. Known for her bravery and skill, Jane worked with the Pony Express and reportedly even turned to prostitution to survive. Her fame grew when she joined Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, but it came with a price. Her love of drinking led to severe alcoholism. Jane passed away at age 51 and was buried next to Wild Bill Hickok in South Dakota, despite Hickok's lack of affection for her in life. It was a final ironic joke by the men responsible for her funeral. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, immortalized on screen by Paul Newman and Robert Redford, were notorious for leading the wild bunch in heists that netted large sums of money. Tired of being fugitives, the pair moved to South America, but a payroll robbery in Bolivia brought them back into the spotlight. During a confrontation with Bolivian troops, both men were killed, though many theories suggest one or both may have survived. Claims such as those from a man named William Henry Long, who lived in Utah under the alias of Sundance, have added to the mystery of their deaths. Billy the Kid, a young outlaw known for his brief but violent life, met his end at the hands of Sheriff Pat Garrett. By age 18, Billy had already been linked to 17 homicides and was constantly on the run. After being captured and sentenced to death, Billy made a dramatic escape, killing two guards. However, his freedom was short-lived. Garrett, tipped off about Billy's whereabouts, shot him dead at Maxwell Ranch in New Mexico. Billy the Kid's death has since been surrounded by speculation and conspiracy theories, 
keeping his legend alive. Wyatt Earp, though not widely known during his lifetime, became a legendary figure after his death, thanks to a biography that highlighted his daring adventures, including the famed shootout at the O.K. Corral. In his later years, Earp moved to Los Angeles, where he became an unpaid consultant for Western movies and formed friendships with film stars like Tom Mix and William Hart. Earp passed away in 1929, with Tom Mix serving as a pallbearer at his funeral. Mix couldn't hold back his tears, a touching moment that underscored the respect Earp commanded. Bat Masterson, once a gunslinger and respected sheriff, had a life full of action. With the influence of his friend Wyatt Earp, Masterson played a key role in taming Dodge City, Kansas. However, his life took a sharp turn after the murder of his brother Ed while on duty. By age 49, tired of the chaos of the West, Masterson moved to New York with his wife. He transitioned from a lawman to a respected journalist and U.S. Marshal. His life ended suddenly on October 25, 1921, when he died of a heart attack at his desk while finishing his final newspaper column, Annie Oakley, the iconic sharpshooter who made history as a role model for women worldwide, first displayed her remarkable shooting skills at the age of 16. During an unlikely competition organized by a local innkeeper, Annie faced off against professional exhibition shooter Franka Butler. While Frank impressed by hitting 24 targets out of 25, Annie hit all 25, securing not only the victory, but also Frank's heart. The two married and joined Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, where Annie became a legend. Her life, however, was tragically cut short by anemia. Frank, devastated by her death, passed away just 18 days later, possibly from a broken heart. They were buried side by side in a gesture that symbolized their unbreakable bond. Jesse James was an infamous outlaw who met an unexpected end. After a turbulent period of numerous heists and escapes, Jesse was hiding out with his brother, Frank. Frank, tired of their criminal life, decided to walk the path of honesty, leaving Jesse vulnerable and in need of new recruits. Among them were Bob and Charlie Ford, who had their own plans. The governor of Missouri, Thomas Crittenden, had offered a $10,000 reward for Jesse's capture. Tempted by money and a potential pardon, the Ford brothers seized an opportunity. On a hot day while Jesse was relaxing at home, Bob Ford shot him in the back of the head, securing the reward but also ending one of the most notorious criminal careers of the Old West. Buffalo Bill Cody, a Wild West entertainment icon known for his traveling show, passed away on January 10, 1917, during a visit to his sister in Denver from kidney failure. Cody had expressed his wish to be buried on Lookout Mountain in Colorado, known for its stunning views. However, due to the heavy snow that winter, access to the site was blocked. To fulfill his last wish, the funeral home preserved his body for six months, embalming it repeatedly. A controversy arose during that time, with some arguing that he should be buried in Cody, Wyoming, the town he helped found. Despite the debates, Buffalo Bill was finally laid to rest on Lookout Mountain as he had desired. Yet conspiracy theories continue to circulate, suggesting his remains were secretly moved to Wyoming. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments below so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.